I S U P K. Man. They're marching now that they think they've been done wrong and justice has been done wrong to them. They forgot all about the black people's problems. They forgot all about the black people's problems. Just let them bring it out. Keisha Lance Bottom, she don't want nothing to do with that. She don't want to shame nobody else, but she'll shame us, no problem. Right. Where was the Indian and Asian people at? Right here in Atlanta, back in the 80s and the 90s, where's those children that they was raping and killing? Right. Where those kids at? They can't find them. They weren't looking for them. Asians weren't looking for them either. Right. No one's looking for nobody. But yet, right here in Atlanta, you have uh, you had your boy down here, Michael Vick, doing his thing. Brought fire to Atlanta, man. Michael Vick brought Atlanta down to his knees, man. It was a good time when we was down here with uh, with that going Michael Vick. But what happened? He got locked up for selling dogs. But your friendly neighborhood Asian people are selling you dogs, man. Right. Ain't nothing happening to them. Right. Nothing's going on with them. Right. You better separate from them people, man. They ain't fight. They ain't fighting for your plight. Right. So why you gotta fight for their plight? There's nowhere to be found when they shot down Berlin uh, Castile. Right. Tamir Rice. Right. They were shot him down the street. Where was they marching at? Now, I don't, although I don't agree with the Black Lives Matter, they was down here in the streets, in the streets of Atlanta, protesting. Where were the Asian people at? Right. I'll tell you where it was at. They was in your neighborhood, cooking up them chicken so you can get done with uh, done your protesting. Right. You call there and eat. Right. That's all it is. Right. They're going to mark you down 25, 50%. That's right. all. That's so you can right. go up there and eat. Right. Put sustaining on them, man. They don't give a damn about you, man. Right. They don't care nothing about your plate. They don't care nothing about you. You try to get a job at an Asian spot, they're going to work you to death if they even give you the job. Right. But they don't hire you people. Right. They don't hire y'all. Right. Now, I, I, mean, I was in the Insta's military, man. I was there. I was in Tokyo. I was in Japan. They had nothing to do with black people, man. Right. They, they had nothing to do. It was so bad that when them brothers did have something to do with them Asian women and got married to them and had them heathen ass babies, they couldn't go back home to their parents. Be they couldn't go back home with them. You know why? Because they disowned them. They just own them people, man. That's just how racist they are. Right. You know what I'm talking about. They call you all kind of things behind your back, but take your money. They're in your neighborhood selling you liquor, selling you chicken, all that. But as soon as you need them to support you for your business, they're, they're not going to support you for your business. But yeah, black people, you go down and support their business all day long. But yet your brother next to you, you don't want to see, you don't want to share nothing with him. Your brotherhood is gone when it comes to your people. But yeah, when you come to the Asian people, you want to go down there, man. They got on their shirts down there, Asian Lives Matter. Right. That's what they got on their shirts, Asian Lives Matter. And when anything pop off, they always bleed on the black people or jump on our backside. Right. Doing a ride off the stuff that we're doing. So now you got to have Asian love, you got to have Asian, you know, you got to have a whole Asian Lives Matter, but yet they still ain't coming to your plight. Right. They still ain't coming to fight your fight because we're divided. The most high said, you know, the divided brothers been bringing it out here all morning, man. You're not supposed to be with them, man. You're supposed to be separate with them. I'm going to bring out some stuff. Let me get uh, Isaiah 13 and 14. Isaiah 13 and 14. You cannot trust them, man. They get you to break the law, statutes, commandments. You ain't supposed to be eating no damn rat, dog, a cat. They're putting your food in the damn way. All the ham, they're putting your food anyway. They keep pushing the agenda of the devil, man. They keep pushing that agenda. And you keep falling for it every time. Now you want to fall in love with the Asians. Now you want to do it help them out. But they don't help you out. Look at it. Stop being docile, black man. I know, I know, I know Martin Luther King told you to love everybody. I know he can join their white together, but that was a hateful thing that he did now. Because they're down there without you. They came together doing what they did, what they're supposed to do. They come together with each other. Where you at, black man? Hispanic man? Native Indian man? Where y'all at? In the slums. 
Right here, right here in Atlanta, things pop off in your neighborhood, man. Pop on. They, now, you got the white man or the the, uh, the, appra uh, the oppressor. He down there and shot them people in that dag or anything, man. In them Hispanics, I'm not Asian spot. He shot them down dead. Now, these dad going spawns, like they said, is a whorehouse. Right. But yeah, you go to the Blue Flame, which I don't condone that either. I don't condone that stuff, man. But you go down to the Blue Flame, they breaking in the dad going doors, locking our sisters up. Right. And ain't nobody saying nothing. Right. Where the Asians at then? Right. right. Asians ain't come to your defeat then? Right. No. They go to the Blue Magic, they busting your doors down, taking all our sisters to jail. Where the Asians at then? Right. Nowhere to be found. Right. Cause you're supposed to be separate, man. Everybody had a hand in the demise of us black people, Hispanic people, and Native Indian people, man. Every one of them had a demise in our. All of them had a demise. It was in, our, it was in their captivity. Read that place when you got it. Cut out of what cut. Cut what cut. Isaiah 13 and 14. Isaiah 13 verse 14. Again, like I said, we the ICBK start off one West Harlem, New York, on the command of Hanna. And we come out here every every Wednesday tell that you are the chosen people, man. Every weekend to tell you that. Man, matter of fact, I'm gonna ask you a question. Who the Asians at last week? Did they come down and feed you anything down here in Atlanta? No. Right. They don't come down and give you no food. They don't come down and give you no clothes. They don't take care of no one. But we're down here all every weekend seeing about our people, man. Right. Seeing if you ate. Handing out stuff to you. Handing out blankets. We handing out food. We handing out water. Where they at? The agents should be here right now handing out food and water to you. Where they at? They down there taking care of their people. That's where they at. They don't give a damn about you. You can damn near starve on your door on the front doorstep and they won't give a damn they walk right over you. That's right. But you gonna break your back to go down there and try to be a part of them? You gonna break their back and come down to be with you? Right. And then the mayor of your own city, the mayor of your own city, don't even come to your plate. Right. She has a hate for her own people. And that's why we tell you, don't go out there voting. Don't give your love to this daggone democracy, man. Don't vote. Let them do what they're gonna do. Every black person, Hispanic person, Native Indian that's in these White House, in these democratic places, they gonna hate you too. Because they can't do, they have no power. That's why we tell you don't vote. They have no power to help you. And then when they do get somebody of color in there, not even your own people, you think they black, and they damn that they ain't black. They of another nation. Right. They'll never help you. Right. You can't look for them to help you. You gotta depend on yourself. Right. You gotta depend on each other to come together and help you out. The hell with them Asian people. I'm gonna keep saying it all day. The hell with them Asians, man. They don't care about our plight. Read that when you got it. The book of Isaiah 13, start at 14. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 14. And it shall be as the chaste roe, uh -huh. and as a sheep that no man taketh up. It's like a sheep that no man taketh up. A sheep that's wandering. That's us black man, Hispanic man, Native Indian. We just wandering these streets like a sheep, like a lost sheep. But the Lord got something for that, you understand? Keep reading. They shall every man turn to his own people. This is not my word, this is the Bible. Every man is going to turn to their own people. So when you out there trying to join hand to hand with the Asian man, when you try to join hand to hand with the Caucasian man, you try to join hand to hand with the Africans, keep reading. And flee everyone into his own land. Everybody's going to go to their own land. Then where you going to be at, black man, Hispanic man, Native American? Because why are you over there checking it out with the Asians, chopping it up with them, and going for their flight? They saying when the time hits, when the, when the shit hit the fan, guess where they going? They're going back to their own people. When times get rough, they're going back to their own people. Where are we going to be at? And the Lord understood this. He knew because he separated us. He never wanted us to be together. He separated you for a reason. Because he knew the other nations would go back to their own people. That's why he tell you don't go on to them. Don't give your daughters to them. All this interracial, uh, uh, all inter interracial relationships, that was forbidden in the Bible, man, the scriptures. Right. It was forbidden. You know why it was forbidden? Because the Lord knew that when stuff hit the fan, they're going back to their own people. And this Bible is proving that right now. Right. Keep reading it. That's right. Verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall. Everyone is joined unto them will fall by the sword. You understand? These are scriptures. The Lord knew the Lord shall to join to them. But let the Lord catch you over there with them. Parlaying with them. And you neglecting your own people. You're going to fall by the sword too likewise. Read chapter 13. Get that verse 13 again. Read from the top. Call to a card. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 14. verse 14. And it shall be as the chaste roe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. Uh -huh. They shall every man turn to his people. Every man 
Everybody say I turn their people. When you gonna turn your people black, man? When you gonna turn our own people, start trusting our own people and, and care about the, the plight of black people? When that's gonna happen? I wait to see that happen. The deal with the Asians, they got their people, they came together. They're doing what they're supposed to do and they ain't mad at them. But I'm gonna give you one phrase that everybody should know. Hurry up and buy. Right. That's right. That's Hurry right. up and buy. Right. That's what you need to do. Hurry up and buy and get the hell out of my store. That's what they're telling you. They're going to follow you around in the stores. And yeah, I, I, I spent some time over there. Right. And on the way to the West Coast. Man, y'all forget about the 80s and the 90s, man. Them Koreans don't give a damn about y'all. They follow you shooting y'all dead in the street. And nobody's coming to our play when that happens. They let them go free. Right. All day, all night. But yeah, you're still going to their stores and getting fed off them and eating off them because they're in your neighborhoods. Right. They're selling you all kind of stuff. And they don't even want you there. But they know that you have all the money. You have all the power. The power's in your spending, black man. They know where to go to. Right. They know where to go buy from. Because we're going to keep going right back. That's why they open up all that going shops in our neighborhood. But keep in mind, they're all going to go back to each other, man. Right. They're going to go back. They're going to prefer their own over you. Right. You have to prefer your own over them. All day. Read it again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 14. And it shall be as the chaste roe, uh -huh. and as a sheep that no man take it off. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one into his own land. The Lord is showing you right now, man, there's been division. No matter what they keep saying, that everybody got to come together. The Lord is telling you there is a division. There's a difference between the Asians and the black man. There's a difference between the Chinese and the black man. There's a difference from the Africans and the black man, the so-called black man. We are a different people, man. We are special people. These prophets before me have been bringing it out that you are special unto the Lord. When are you going to realize that you're special to the Most High God? The God don't care about these other nations. They only care about you. That's why every nation has to get you down so that way you know that you're worthless. Right. They want you to be worthless so they keep raising themselves up. That's right. Because whoever, they knew that if black people ever got together, they knew if black people ever understood their royalty, if they ever understood this, we would take over this world. Right. We would take over this world. That's right. You understand? I'm going to keep giving it to you, man, because you're going to keep on thinking these Asians love you, and they don't. No coward, shit, I can't, and I can't.